Good afternoon, and welcome to Tony Romaco Ministries. Today, I wanted to give you a bonus sermon, because at this time, with all the tragedy and violence going on, we need healing, and we need healing from Father God. And today's sermon is on healing from God, and we all need to come together in this time of grief to heal and help each other heal. And we need God to heal us because he's the only one who can heal us through our Lord Jesus. We all need healing. Healing from emotions, broken heart, broken relationship, in times of tragedy, even when we're broken spiritually. These are just the basics. The list goes on. Some people will go through life totally broken without ever getting healed. And this is really sad because they haven't lived at all. They just went through life going through the motions. Others get healed in the later part of life, some way to the very end when they're on their deathbed to get healed. Yet there are those who pick up on it and get healed a lot quicker. For a beautiful life, yes, there will be downs. Some will have more than others, but you need to keep in mind there will be a lot of ups as well. As soon as you realize you are wounded, you need to get healed as soon as possible. I'm talking in the spiritual sense at this time, about your spirit, your soul, your heart. Just like when you get hurt, you take care of the wound, or you go to the doctor or hospital. When you're spiritually wounded, you need to go to God just as quickly. Only He can heal our spirit, our soul, and our heart. When He does, we're not only cleansed from our sin, but we are new in the spirit and soul as well. The reason why, or I should say, the reasons why, is that first of all, the question is, how can we people spiritually, if we are wounded as much or even worse than others, how can we help them? God did not create us to be living in damage and constant pain and constant hurt and suffering. He created us to truly live for Him through our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. This is why He wants us to go to Him as often as we can, depending on Him for all things. When Jesus died for us, He healed us by taking our sins upon Himself so that we would be free from sin and that our debt to the Father would be repaid, and it was repaid. Also, so we can live in righteousness. But this doesn't mean we will not be wounded. We will always be tempted, fail, and fall. This is why we need constant healing from God through our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. Jesus, remember, said that only the Father can heal, but Jesus, as the Son of the living God, who stands at the right hand of power, was given authority and has authority to forgive sins and heal. And if you don't believe me, let's take a listen to this next verse and what Peter has to say. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, so that we might die to sins, and live for righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. This comes from Peter 1, 2.24, NIV. But if whatever version you have at home, just look up 1 Peter 2.24. So, from that moment, we were made anew. Our sins were, and still will be, forgiven. However, since we live in a broken world and still fall short of His glory, we still sin. 
great news is that Jesus will also forgive us as well due to the fact he has authority as I just mentioned to forgive and heal us as well praise the Lord is something we all should do not because we have to not because we must but because we want to and why not as long as we truly repent when we go to him he will heal us in all areas thus making us new again always refining us like the goldsmith refines the iron as he refines the gold all of you know can see can feel the evil out in this world in which we now live many have experienced more than others but nonetheless we all have experienced it I ask you why do you want to live a life of darkness when you can go to God be healed again and live in the most glorious life the most glorious light live in the way the only way God does not have many requirements all he and even Jesus ask us to do are praise his holy name love one another walk the narrow path live like Jesus live for Jesus trust and have faith in Jesus shine his light through you upon others showing them the way God through Jesus loves to use broken vessels which we all are the more cracks the more his light shines through remember the Bible also states the father loves to use the weak and broken to show how strong he is this heals us he heals us no one else can this way he's glorified our Lord and salvation Christ himself tells us this in his own words I will restore you to health and heal your wounds declares the Lord because you are called an outcast Zion for whom no one cares this comes from Jeremiah 30 17 when you go to him to pray in prayer pray with all your spirit all your soul and all your heart and faith believe really believe that the Lord is for you which he is and has proven it time and time again pray not only for yourself but pray for each other pray for forgiveness for others yourself pray for healing for all pray for love peace contentment joy pray for strength to endure all that's put in your path this is what living for Christ is all about and it's all about him this is true love not only for yourself which we should all do but for love for each other this is how Jesus lives prayers of the righteous are extremely powerful because of Jesus we have the power and the ability to be righteous all of the time now we're all not righteous all the time but we do have that power and that ability to be so because of him in closing I want to leave you with this verse to read and ponder on I also would like you to look for the key words in this verse to help you understand it more it comes from James 5 15 through 16 the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well the Lord will raise him up if he has sinned he will be forgiven confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed 
prayer of the righteous, man, is powerful and effective. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. I'm Reverend Tony. Thank you for joining me today for this prayer on healing from God. And please continue your prayers for each other, for yourself, for the world. God does hear them. Jesus hears them. And the Holy Spirit hears them. And if you don't know what to pray, the Holy Spirit knows exactly what's in your heart. He'll take it to the Father. I wish you all the best and joyous weekend. And may God continue to bless you and yours. In the name of His Holy Son, our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. We'll see you again tomorrow when we go live at 10 a.m.